begin with averages in this session. Now we are all aware that uh, average is given as sum of observations divided by the number of observations. So if we have a set of observations 3, minus 2, 0, 5 and we require to find the average of it. Uh, we can find it by just adding them. There is a minus 2, one observation is a 0, one is a 5 divided by the number of observations. The fact that 0 does not contribute to the sum, does it mean that we will not count it as an observation? We have to count it. It is a part, it is one of the observations it's going to affect the average in such. So there are four observations, the sum of which is going to be 1 and by 6 by 4, that is the average is 1.5. I am sure we know this, there is nothing great out of here. Uh, if we analyze the questions, we will see that there are three terms involved. Obviously, the average is going to be one of the terms, the others are number of terms and the sum. We would be usually given the average and the number of terms. So it would be a good idea to rewrite this formula as the sum of observations is equal to the average into number of observations. This formula is the most often used one. So get used to this formula quickly and we will start off with a question right away. The question reads as the average temperature on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is 30 degrees. That on Friday, Saturday, Sunday is 35 degrees. Find the average temperature of the week. Uh, this is one of the easiest questions. We have just seen that usually the average will be given and the number of terms. And if these two are given, we can multiply them to find the sum of the observations. So the first set of data here talks about uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And we know that the average is uh, 35. There are four observations. So 35 into 4 will be the sum of the observations. I guess the average is given as 30. So this is going to be 120. The second set of data talks about Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again, the average is 35. This time there are three observations. So 35 into 3 will be nothing but the sum of observations, which is 105. The question requires us to find the average temperature of the entire week. So I need to club all the days together. So I'll be adding the two equations together and I'll be getting Monday, Tuesday and so on right up till Saturday and Sunday. The sum is going to be 225. So now I know the sum. The question asks us the average. Average is sum by number of observations, which will be 225 by 7 observations. Now a total of, and on there, 7 3s are 21, 7 2s are 14, 1 by 7. 1 by 7 is 0 0.14, so the answer is 32.14. This was a simple state question. Let's see how we can add complexity to the question. The question states, the average temperature on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is 25 degrees. That on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is 20 degrees and the average temperature of the entire week is 22 degrees. I have consciously not put up what are we supposed to find here. Let us check what is the only logically deducible data from this. So the question is very similar to what we did previously. So we have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have four observations and it's given to us that the average is 25. Average into the number of observations will be the sum of temperatures. Repeating the same thing with the second set of data. Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The sum of them will be the average 20 into 4. The earlier sum is 100, this sum is 80. The next data talks about the entire week. So I am tempted to add the two set of data and what should be noticed if it hasn't been done as yet is the fact that Thursday appears in both the set together. So on addition, while each of the days will come once but Thursday will appear twice. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the sum is going to be 180. The third set of data talks about the average temperature of the week. So, uh, the sum of temperatures on each of the day, this time we would be including Thursday only once is given to us the average as 22 there are seven observations so the sum will be 154. I see most of the days are common out over here so I am tempted to subtract the two equations and most of them will vanish out except 2 Thursday minus Thursday is going to give me a Thursday 180 minus 154 is a 26. So possibly the question was what is the temperature on Thursday which we have found as 26. If you are doing the question the first time, maybe writing all this is excusable. But when we have to do it the second time, obviously we should try to do it in a much more faster method. And the way out is, think of this as a block, block of four observations, the sum of which we have already found as 100. The second set of data talks about four more days, but including the Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And we have found out that the sum of this box is going to be nothing but average into number of days that is 80. It also states that the sum of all the seven observations is 22 into 7 that is 154. So, the two individual boxes add up to 100 plus 80, 180, whereas all of them should add up to just 154. Then why am I getting a sum more than 154? The extra bit that I am getting, 180 minus 154, that is I am getting 26 extra. It is obvious this 26 will be because the Thursday has been counted twice. So, maybe this is the way that one should attempt the question the second time. Next, we will take a little more difficult question. The third question states, the average temperature of a week excluding Sunday is 15 degrees. The average temperature of the same week excluding Monday is 10 degrees. If the sum of temperatures on Monday and Sunday is 50 degrees, find the individual, find the temperature on individual days Monday and Sunday. Uh, since it is very similar, so let us start it in the same way. So I have uh, the temperature of the week excluding Sunday. So let me start with the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There is no Sunday. The average is given to me as 15. There are how many of 6 observations. So the sum of them should be 90. Same set but this time excluding Monday. So we begin with Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday as well as Sunday. The temp average is given as 10. There are again 6 observations. So the sum is 60. The question talks about or the focus of the question is Monday and Sunday. We also see that Tuesday to Saturday is common to both the equations. So again the next step is very logical. Let us subtract the two. And on subtracting the two, I would be getting Monday minus Sunday is 60 minus, uh, sorry, 90 minus 60, that is a 30. It is also given to me that Monday plus Sunday is 50. Now, it is a question of two simultaneous equations that took pretty easy ones. So, adding the two, I will be getting two times Monday is 80, which will result in Monday being 40. Substitute the value of Monday as 40 in either of the two equations and we can find the value of temperature on Sunday as uh, 40 minus 10 will be 30. So, we have found our answer with the individual temperatures on Monday and Sunday. Can we reduce a little bit of work? One of the thing is I need not take each day individually. I could have just taken T as the total sum of temperature of all these seven days. Now I need to exclude Sunday from it, which will be, sum will be 90. Similarly, the total of the week remains same, but this time we are excluding Monday. Remains the same. So we are going to subtract the two, the total temperature will cancel out and minus Sunday will remain as it is. Minus of minus Monday is going to be back to plus Monday and I am going to get the same set of data here. So, a better thing, a better learning here is, we see that the number of terms is same in 
both the cases. So, we could have avoided finding the individual sums. Could I say the sum 1 is 15 into 6, the sum 2 is 10 into 6 and we are required to find the difference of the sum. So, could I say the difference of the sums is nothing but a1 minus a2 into n, n being 6. So, if this thought had occurred to me, I could have read the question directly and I could have said, oh, the averages, the difference in averages are 15 and 10, that is 5 and the number of observation in each case is 6, so that is going to be 30. Now, we just need to remember this is the difference in sum and why are the two sums different? What are the different uh, situations here? In one case, Monday is not taken, in one case, Sunday is not taken. So, obviously, I would be getting the difference between Monday and Sunday. Rest everything is going to be the same out over here. Next, we will take an uh, unusual question. The final question in this video, uh, it is a pretty standard question which is asked in quite a few exams. Nine friends go out for a dinner to settle the bill. Uh, each of eight friends pay rupees 20, whereas the ninth friend pays rupees 40 more than the average bill per person. The question requires us to find the bill value. Going very traditionally, since the question is requiring us to find the bill value, we could say let the bill value be rupees x. Now, there are 8 people who pay 20 each. So, 20 into 8 is going to be the contribution of these 8 people. And the ninth person is contributing 40 more, 40 above, extra, than what? Than the average bill per person. So, the average bill is x by 9. Bill is x, there are 9 people, so... Contribution of 8, contribution of the ninth one. So, the total has to be equal to the bill amount. Now, this is a simple question. Uh, linear equation in one variable and I am sure we can solve it. So, this is going to be 160 plus x by 9 plus 40 is x. Uh, adding the constants, multiplying throughout by 9, 200 into 9. That is 1800 plus x is equal to 9x. That is 8x is equal to 1800. So, x will be 8 to the 16, 28 to the 16, 40. That is 225 is the bill amount. Uh, the problem that we see quite often here is quite a few people assume that the ninth guy is paying 40 more than 20. 20 is not the average bill per person. The fact that 8 friends pay 20 doesn't make the average 20. The 9th person is a little different than 20, right? If all had paid 20, the average would have been 20. But since the ninth guy is paying more than the average, the average is not going to be 20. Now, this is a very traditional way. Since the question was asking us bill amount, we started this way. One other way could have been that one of the data is 40 more than the average. So, let me assume the average bill per person be rupees 8. The contribution of 8 people would still remain as 20 into 8, 160. This time the ninth guy is going to pay uh, 40 more than the average, which we have assumed as 8. So, currently the terms is nothing but the total bill amount and I could equate this to the average into the number of observations, that is 9. The only advantage here is that there is no denominator. This can be solved 160 plus 40, that is 200 is going to be the A goes to the other side, 8A. So, the average turns out to be 25. And once we know the average, we can find the bill amount as nothing but the average into 9 observations. That is 25 into 9, 225. When we, in a, in a later video, we will see an oral way to solve this question based upon deviations from the mean. Till then, uh, do the exercise following this video. Practice them and we will start with the next video.